Disclaimer alert. Disclaimer alert. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe. So we've got the Swiss ball again, and this is advanced exercises on the Swiss ball part three. So if you've gotten the first basic ones down and you've gotten the next step of advanced ones down, this is the one to try that's super hard, but it's going to give you a great core workout and it's going to work your back out. And that's what you want. You want everything around this to stay strong so your back doesn't hurt all the time. So let's get going with these. We're going to start off lying down on our backs. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do with the Swiss ball is going to be a simple bridge. And then we're going to work our way up from that. So doing a bridge, we're going to lie down flat on our backs and we're going to put our legs up on the ball. Now the key with this is you want your back to be flat on the ground and you want your neck to be relaxed. You don't want to be holding your head up because then your neck muscles are going to get strained and then you're going to end up having some neck pain. So relax your head down, get your back flat on the floor, and what you're going to do is you're going to bridge up, which is just lifting your hips up off the floor, and you want to be straight. You don't want to go super past and put your back into hyperextension, but you want to see a nice straight line going all the way down. Now see how the ball is moving? You want to keep it nice and still. You're going to do a little pause, three to five seconds, and then come back down. So, you know, just 10 or 15 of those to get you started, and then work your way up from there. If that starts getting easy, then you can go to one foot. Lift one up, keep one on the ball, and do the same thing. The bridging, try and just get straight. Don't go in hyperextension on your back. A little pause, coming up, going back down. All right. Then the next one is rolling the ball towards you when you're in a bridge. So you're going to go up into a bridge and you're going to roll the ball up towards you and then you're going to push it right back out. Now you want to keep the ball in a straight line if you can and you want to keep those muscles nice and contract. Remember you want to be breathing while you're doing it. You want to be able to have a conversation while you're doing it. So you're going to go up into a bridge, pull it in, push it back out. Now this is another one that's working your hamstrings, so you can add this into your hamstring strengthening exercises with the other video of the strengthening exercises for your hamstring. Now again, if that gets easy, you can go to one leg, pull it in, come back out. Now that's going to be pretty hard, so just try a couple and then build up as you go. Alright, so the last one we're going to do is probably the toughest one. You want to put your arms across the ball on the ground. We're going to roll out again and you want to get as far as you can to where your toes are on the ball. That's going to make it the hardest for you. So you're in a plank position. Again, you want to be flat like a tabletop. You don't want to be dropped down. You don't want to be arched up. You want to be very nice and flat. And now what you're going to do is a push up to your elbows. So you're going to go down on your elbow, go down on your elbow, come back up, come back up. And then the same thing. Then you go down, go down, opposite arm, opposite up. Now see, I'm at my knees right now, so it's a little bit easier. But if I went all the way out to my toes, the ball would be wiggling around much more and it would be more difficult. So whatever you feel like your level is, you can even start out closer to your stomach. Go down on your elbow, come back up. Whew! So there you have it. Those are some advanced Swiss ball exercises. I think I'm actually sweating a little bit and hopefully you are too. If you want to check out some more exercise, stretching videos, even some educational videos, please go check out AskDrJoe.com. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.